In this video, we're going to learn how to build a sports news agent with Streamlit and Fi Data. So we're going to start with the Streamlit Hello World example for building a chat application, which I've got in a file called app.py. We'll just quickly go over it. So you see we've got the imports at the top, then we initialize the OpenAI client. We've got a button to reset the chat. And then if we come down a little bit, you can see we initialize the messages in the session state. We then iterate over it, over them rather, and write it into the screen. And then finally, we get our prompt. We write that into the list of messages. And then we send that prompt to the LLM, so GPT-40 in this case, and then we write the response that we get back, and then we update the messages. Okay, now let's run the app. So we're gonna use UV, we'll give it the dependencies, OpenAI, Streamlit, and Watchdog, and then we're gonna go streamlit run app.py. We'll come over to our browser, localhost 8501, and let's ask it Yannick Sinner. And you can see it goes away and comes back with a bunch of information about him ending at the cutoff of GPT-4 at the end of 2023. Now we want to replace that call to the OpenAI client with a call to our Phi data agent. So let's now have a look at an agent that I created earlier. So this is in a file called agents.py. Again, you can see we've got a bunch of imports at the top and then we initialize our agent. Now we've got a model, so it's going to be the same model as before. And then we can give our agent some tools. So these are kind of things that it can go off and do something with. So we've got DuckDuckGo, the search engine, so it can kind of go off and do a search in there. And then we've got Newspapers 4K, so it can kind of go off and look and see if there's any relevant articles. We'll give it a description, so we tell it you're a researcher writing an article. And then we're going to give it some instructions. We say, I want you to go and look for the top five articles for a given topic read the URL and extract the text, and then create me three to five bullet points based on the information. And then you can see at the bottom, we're then telling it we want to add history to messages and we're going to store it in temp agent.db. And that's so that we have the chat history remembered in the agent so that we, if we ask a follow-up question, it's still going to have the information available to answer our question. Let's now come back into app.py. We're just going to find that from OpenAI line at the top, and then we're going to add our agents import in there. Let's now go down to where we called the OpenAI client. We'll delete that LLM call, and then we're going to add in agent.run. We'll pass in the prompt and we'll say stream equals true. Now you could also choose to say stream equals false. If you did that, then to write the result, it would be st.write, and then it would be the response or chunks dot content. Now we want to do a stream. So we're going to call st.write stream. And then we're going to have to create a new function called as stream. And then we'll pass in the response that we got. We'll come back up the top, add in that function as stream. And now we're going to write this function. Now I took this code from the print response function inside the Phi data agents class. So it effectively just iterates over it, checks we've got the right class, and then yields the value back to the function. So now let's go back to app.py and we'll delete the OpenAI import and the client initialization since we aren't using that anymore. And now we'll stop Streamlit and then we're going to launch it again, but this time with some other dependencies. So we've got FiData, we've got OpenAI, we need SQL Alchemy for storing the state. We've got DuckDuckGo search, Newspaper 4K, and we've got Streamlit as before. And then we'll run it. And then we can type in Yannick Sinner and you can see it goes off and does a DuckDuckGo search. It then tells us it's reading a bunch of articles and then we get a summary. So it does career achievements and rise, controversies and challenges. So about a failed doping test in 2024, playing style and coaching and then off court endeavors and persona. We can then ask a follow up question. So we can say, tell me about his rivalries with Djokovic and Alcaraz and it goes off and tells us about those as well. So if you're interested in learning out more about Phi Data, check out this video next.